Hey there guys, and welcome back to more Mega Man X4 Blind for the PS1, and in this episode, taking on the Maverick. Wow. And, I'm gonna go for the Bio Laboratory. Why? I don't know. Something's telling me that it's the one that I want to go into the most. Cyberspace also looks cool, as does Air Force, but there's just something about the background of Bio Laboratory that makes me really want to visit it. And I'm also hopeful that the new Eyes of My Goal will be effective, so let's just jump into this, shall we? I just realized double to the right even just like moves like this. It's a very still frame, but it works well. Oh my god, he's tiny. He occupies the laboratory and will attack whoever visits there. Wow, he seems very fre threatening. Split mushroom. Look at the stairs! <laughs> no, because of that, is there anything down here? No. I was kind of hoping it would scroll along like this. Oh! <laughs> Look at this. Gracious man, that's good. I, I'm, I'm too distracted by this. It's gonna be so difficult to focus on the enemies when I'm going up like this. So this is literally the whole stairs, right? This giant spiral staircase. Oh, I love me some spiral staircases, because that usually hints towards the final boss, to be honest. But I'm down with this. Because it was like that as well when it came to Rayman 3, Hoodlum Havoc. In fact, I think they took the mick out of that part <laughs> whenever it came to the thing. Can I please just get behind you and then destroy you? That would be nice. Yeah, I haven't actually played Rayman 3 Hoodlum Havoc in quite a while. Wait, what? Um, 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 huh? Okay. What? What is this? A teleport? A teleportation? Right? Okay. It's gonna put me here now? Uh, fair enough. Those things in the background look like flaming Mudokens from Oddworld. <laughs> Am I the only one that sees that? Uh, it's literally the first thing that came to my head whenever it came to those. Oh. So. Right, now this is where I'm glad that I got all the stuffs. I was gonna say, if that dare said area 2, I'll be like, wait, what? That was it. Really? Fortunately not. Oh, so this, is, this is a weird stage. I wasn't expecting this. I know it's a bio laboratory, but even still. Okay. Now, any, any like, key features that I need to pay attention to that would probably lead me over to a capsule or something? Hmm, I don't know. Also, wait, I just realized, can I? Oh, I can do the whole jumping side of things, great. With just the double tapping the right, instead of like doing an air dash basic is, is what I'm on about. Okay, so. Oh god, spikes. Those things are gonna be like instant death, aren't they? I'm not too careful. Well, that's gonna be a death. Okay, right, so. I'm back, and I'm up to here now. Oh god. Wait. Oh, I see. I have to- oh my word. I have to be quick with this, do I? Which I'm not very good at. Not about the science, I'm just kind of taking everything all in. Kind of wondering why it's put me to here, of all places. What could be the mastermind behind all this? Oh, and now it's put me back? I'm going to the left. Wow, every, every Maverick is just, oh god. Every Maverick is just so unique. I love this. Because at literally every stage, I'm always like, wait, what? They're throwing this in? Whereas, admittedly, the, a lot of them, particularly in X3, were kind of just sort of samey when it came to it. I don't know. I might be the only one that thinks this, but still. Okay, so you're going to go for this one, right? Now, nah, this one gives me vibes of Dr. Eggman from Sonic the Hedgehog today in the truth. If, you probably know the one that I'm on about. It's literally the one that, um... Oh, wait. Oh, that's not good. It's one from Spring Garden Zone. Was spring spring yard zone? Yeah, that was the name of it. Spring yard zone. Oh no, I'm gonna have to do thing on it. But it can't really jump up to here. Can it? Okay, I'm gonna try hovering. What about that? But that's an instant death, right? So I'm gonna have to take this thing out pretty quick <laughs> before I hit the spikes. Oh my days! I don't even think I have time to figure out the weakness to this dude. So I'm just gonna do my my uh, fury. So it's like this. Then just continue shooting it like that. Okay, now the next one. Because I have plenty of time to react to this. Oh yeah, don't worry, we got this. We got this in the bag. Especially if you're going to go up the other way and do your thing. Okay, now once more, maybe? Fantastic, wonderful. And the spikes just go away like that as well, do they? Nice and convenient. Oh yeah, I know why now, because the background's... Literally give me vibes of... Okay, if you've ever played Metroid Zero Mission... Oh, now it's Area 2. 
Yeah, if you ever played like Metroid Zero Mission for the Game of Advance, there's like these ruin type of areas. It reminds me an awful lot of that. Come on to think of it, I still don't know if I prefer Zero Mission more than um uh what's it, Metroid Fusion for the Game of Advance. And maybe what I should do is play those sort of back to back and decide that way. I remember back then though I, I did kind of prefer Fusion a bit more, but that's probably because admittedly, yeah, even I can agree, uh, Fusion is more accessible. It is far, far more accessible for a Metroid title. Since Zero Mission kind of expects you to learn all of the stuff from previous Metroid games. Well, sort of. But let's just say Metroid Fusion kind of guides you where to go a bit more. Also, Heart Tank. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Hang on, I think I know how to get this. And I think I missed my chance. Because <laughs> I think I've just figured it out. Hold on, wait. I might, I might be able to, uh, I might be able to get away with this, though. So here's a theory of mine. So what I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm gonna go like this, and I'm gonna go. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, cool. I really love that spider upgrade, man. That works out too good. I'm so glad as well that they tell you of what they actually do. Otherwise, I would have just moved on and been like, oh, it's it's a weapon. Not even aware that I can use it as a normal thing to use as ball jumping. Okay, so this time, how about we just go through it really quickly without even worrying about a single damn thing apart from this and that and my death. And my game over. You know, coming to think of it, I don't think I've actually found a sub tank yet. Let's try the one again. You know, coming to think of it, I don't think I've actually found a sub tank yet. I mean, I've found like a weapons tank, which yeah, apparently that's what it does. The one beginning with a W, when I just thought that was really for something else, but no, it's strictly for weapons. So that helps me out a ton. I'm wondering what all the other ones are though, and whereabouts they'll be. In that case, that probably means then that I don't get four sub tanks anymore. Maybe I just find one giant sub tank that replenishes stuff. So given the fact that like literally there is a weapons tank, each one might be dedicated to its own thing because. Oh! Oh, right, yeah, of course. Of course. I picked it up. <laughs> That's why it says E. Yes, because energy and weapons, the, the thing that I picked up in the thing before, right, cool. In that case, that's that's going to be great for when I go over to the boss. I'm actually kind of glad that um, I noticed this at this sort of point. Okay, I'm back, and now this time I'm not actually going to go towards the edge. Because that equals death. Right, so am I going to fight this uh, Repliforce Maverick? Literally on this elevator, or is it just... Oh, no, it looks like it's just taking me to where it actually is supposed to go. Still, yeah. So, uh, okay. Reminder. I have a weapons... Weapons tank? I guess I'll just call it that. Yeah, weapons tank and an energy tank. An energy tank. Never did I ever think I'd say the word energy tank in Mega Man X. So that's cool. Alright. Go on, then. What have you got? You gonna say anything? Sweet. Are you X? No. I am the boogeyman. I'm under orders to terminate you. What? Whose orders? My guess is Sigma. Assuming your symbol is gonna change. Take a wild guess. Uh, Sigma! I was right! Whoa, good! Oh, so he clings to walls, he clings to walls, he clings to walls, he clings to walls. So, which one? The, the Ground Hunter, wasn't it? But then again, uh, the Ground Hunter did the... Did the wasn't it the Twin Sasha or something? I don't know. I'm just gonna go for the Ground Hunter and hopefully that'll work. Oh, that seems to be his weakness as well! Wait, no, that's the Web Spy! <laughs> Are you kidding me? I just figured it out by accident. By literally shooting my web spider. By accident. I straight up thought that was the ground hunter. Well, whatever. I'm, I'm literally going to take it now. Because uh, you you is easy. You is really, really easy. Considering it reaches you like this. Oh, man. That's cool. Yeah, because I don't think there's ever been a maverick. Where if it's weak to one of them, then that's it. That's the only maverick that is weak to that particular weapon. There's there's not like multiple ones or anything. What <laughs> the noises he makes as well. Oh no, I'm all out! Okay, uh, now I gotta do this for real. I think. Which was damn easy. What a way to finish him as well. In the sky! Well! Uh, well, that was the stage. Sweet. 
still think, though, that I'm missing a couple of things. Maybe there's, like, a, a particular weapon that I need to break open stuff? Or it might even just be a heart tank, who knows? I can kind of guess, though, because on the save screen, it shows me, literally, the, the size of the bar. And I get the feeling when that's full, that's literally everything. It doesn't extend, does it? Soul body accumulates energy and generates an illusion. Enemies will sustain damage if struck by the soul energy. Requires high energy expend wow, expenditures, however, and will eventually dissipate in time. Or if it sustains heavy damage. There's enoughs. So, let's see now. Okay, if I save this, is it actually still going to tell me what I got? Because, okay, I got this so far. There's still a couple of heart tanks that I need to find. And I doubt they're going to be after the Mavericks. So I probably still need to go back to the upper levels. I reckon I'm going to do that, though, after I've destroyed every Maverick. Okay. So, I guess at this sort of point, this has been an episode of Mega Man X4 Blind. In the next episode, we will be taking on the 7th Maverick. The 7th Maverick already. How are we on the 7th Maverick? That's, that's really, really weird. These go by pretty quick now. I'm not used to this. So take care, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And I will see you in the next one. Oh, and just so you know, by the way, um, I, I'm recording this from episode 5, and... Since there's literally only two Mavericks left, I might as well just continuously record this till they're all dead. And then I can look at your comments again after that. Basically, put it's going to be four, four to five episodes per recording session for me, because then I'll give time for the comments. So yeah, just a little bit of a quick heads up, that's all, in case I forgot to, to explain about it before. And yeah, catch you in the next one. Should be tomorrow.